Good morning, my friends. It is Tuesday. Oh, look at this haircut. If you watched yesterday's, um, I did the Devo in the car right before getting this haircut. All right, let me ask you guys this question. We're going to be in the book of Deuteronomy 31. Let me ask you, have you ever been afraid? Like super afraid, like heart racing, hand sweaty, so afraid. Now, have you ever been afraid, but then you've been with somebody, an older sibling, a family member, a friend, maybe during a storm or in the dark or something, and you're not as afraid because you're with somebody? Right. It's easier to be brave when you're with someone. Well, you're always with God and God is always with you. Check out what the book of Deuteronomy in the Old Testament says in chapter 31. It says, The Lord himself goes before you and will be with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. Deuteronomy 31, 8. In this verse, God reminded Israel that he was the one who had brought them out of Egypt. He had led them into the wilderness and would go before them into the land of Canaan. He wanted them to know that no matter what, they should not be afraid or discouraged because he would never leave them or reject them. This is God's promise to all his people. That includes you and me. And he will lead you and stay by your side. When you believe in Jesus as your savior, the Holy Spirit comes to live in your heart and guides you. So when you are afraid or become discouraged, remember God's promise. He goes before you and he will be with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. Do not be afraid or be discouraged. So what I want you to do today as an activity, I want you to take this verse, Deuteronomy 31 verse 8. Deuteronomy 31 verse 8. And everywhere it says you, I want you to insert your name. So the Lord himself goes before Preston and will be with Preston. He will never leave Preston nor forsake Preston. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. Okay. So where it says you put your name. And now let's pray and just thank God for being with us. Dear God, thank you so much for today. Thank you for your word. Help us not be afraid and to always remember that you are with us. We give you today. We love you. Amen. All right, guys. Awesome. I will see you tomorrow.